people to take you seriously, right? Right. Subscribers every single month. I'm really amped up on my YouTube skills. Hey, Ma. Hey, Chica. Hey, Dreamers. It's me, Cheese and Dreams, and I'm back for another video. If this is your first time, welcome. And if you've been here before, you know how we do it. Let's get it. What are you waiting for? Do you have a list? Have you started? Do we have any direction? But I would love for you to like, comment, and subscribe. So today we're gonna to be talking about YouTube and we're gonna be talking about a business and finding your niche and perfecting your craft. So I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos prior to me being a YouTuber myself and I see a lot of people talking about your content and your music and be careful of copywriting and you want to know target your audience and you want your videos to look like they're quality. You want people to take you seriously, right? Right. So I've been putting out my content and I started back in September. So we're just a little over two months. So we're still early and there's a lot to learn about editing and what's the things that people want to hear about and your personality. And I think the main thing, in my opinion, is just consistency and being yourself. Of course, we want the video to have great quality, great content and the editing. And we want it to flow and we want to hear the things that people want you to talk about. And we want to stay true to ourselves. <laughs> and we also want to get an audience. That's the whole point, right? It's also a great uh, thing to just talk and being able to express yourself and the things that you might hear. Oh, no one wants to hear that. And who's going to listen to you? And <laughs> why should people watch your channel? Why not? I think I'm pretty interested, and if not, someone else is going to find both you and me interesting. I watch a lot of YouTubers, and they all differ. They have different quality, different content, different styles. Some of them are direct and to the point. This particular YouTuber talks about how to get more YouTube subscribers in 2020. In fact, thanks to the tips I'm about to share with you, my channel now generates 5,347 new subscribers every single month. Now this YouTuber is Beautiful Brown Baby Doll, which is Dr. Nina, and she gives you tips on YouTube. Hey y'all, it's your girl Dr. Nina and I'm super excited about today's video because I have been a YouTuber for years. I feel like within the last year and a half, I've really amped up on my YouTube skills. My channel size has more than doubled and I really have put the effort in. Jessica Stansberry tells the truth about how the YouTube channel can move so slow. Constantly like, why does this move so slow? And it took me about a year to get to 500 subscribers. But then I learned what I was doing and I started applying massive strategy to my channel and I went from 500 subscribers to 1,700 subscribers. So I gained 1,200 subscribers in three months. Gallagher's channel is extremely colorful, has a great intro, and he talks about growing your channel really fast as well here if you want to grow your channel quick and easy subscribe and smash that notification bell because i share with you all the tips tricks and strategies that i use to grow this dead channel from zero to thousands of subscribers and became a youtube partner in just a matter of months journey with the hintons discusses the hard truth about all the efforts into putting out your first video to wake up the next morning to see how many views and you might just have maybe one if any wake up the next day to check the views on your video and guess what you'll see <laughs> that one little view more than likely from your mom to make your video searchable and that means making something that your target audience is looking for Make Money Matt has a pretty catchy name, a colorful and busy channel. See, a lot of people think that getting their first thousand subscribers has to be this super hard and complicated process, but it's really not if you know what you're doing. 
Hey Doc Couture talks about growing her channel within just 60 days. Yeah, I accumulated about 9,000 subscribers within 60 days, which is why I feel like I'm in a position now to where I can give advice and, you know, just share some overall tips with you guys that I have been using that have worked for me. So I look at a lot, or lately I've been looking at a lot of different YouTubers and trying to um, study the art of YouTube. And some of them give you a nice intro, it's all edited. <laughs> And it looks really nice. And then sometimes you listen to the content and you think, oh, they're just doing regular everyday stuff just like everyone else. And you see a lot of videos. And I know a lot of people talk about uh, your background. I see some people that um, have content where they have books behind them, a bookshelf or they have little knickknacks behind them. I even see fairy lights or neon lights or something sparkling at you. Sometimes it's just a matter of having an animal or something moving around to keep your attention as well as mine. So this week, I've been really focusing on what what is it? What is it that you want to see? What brings the views? What helps you to promote your videos? And I've been watching a lot of content and they suggest, like I said, they suggest a lot. And I've even incorporated a lot of those things into my videos. And I think the main thing I get is, like I said, your personality, um, your content. And so from you, I would like to hear, what is it that you like? What gets your interest? What do you want to hear more of? Do you like seeing family videos? Are you one of those people who love pranks? Are you a foodie? Do you like mukbangs? And do you like to see what different people are eating? Do you like to watch people eat? Do you like to, you know, give your pros and cons about different restaurants, retailers? Are you into a nice long car ride? Do you like traveling? Are you into going to different places or different places for entertainment? Do you like to see people do that? Are you more into sporting or do you like outdoorsy, like fishing, hiking, um, exercising, bike riding, uh, trail running? So I would like to hear from you. What is it that you enjoy watching? What type of content? Of course, I have to be myself. I love to travel. I love my family. I like to have a good time. Still need to start <laughs> tuning into that weight loss side of the channel, and it's coming. Sometimes you just have to get the right mindset. Um, but for right now, I am really interested in the school of YouTube. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to be reviewing uh, some YouTubers contents, and I am going to show you some of the videos that I have seen. And I am going to show you a little bit about me incorporating what they say for me to do. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a series because, of course, I need to watch the video and then incorporate a little bit and then show you some of the videos. So as the videos are coming out after we're talking about different YouTube techniques, I love to hear from you. I love to hear if you watch some of my old videos, not too old because I always start in September. But if you compare some videos one to the other and give me some feedback, i love to hear from you. And if you like what you've seen thus far, and even if you don't, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. What? Hit that notification bell. What? What? Hit that notification bell. And come cheese with me. Bye, ma.
that notification bell. What? Hit that notification bell. What? What? Hit that notification bell. And come cheese with me. Bye, Ma.